hello guys i am here with a new topic related to curve that is how to design a combined curve now what is combined curve it is as it is obvious from the name that it is the combination of two types of curves that is simple circular curve and the transition curve we will define these two types of curve in the upcoming slide in this video we will find how to calculate the radius of the curve now these are again technical terms if you are not familiar with the technical terms related to curves you need to watch my previous video to get the better understanding of this topic and the length of the transition curve length of the circular curve and the change of beginning and end points of transition curve so let's start our today's topic what is combined curve first of all we will define curve curve is a regular bend provided to break gradual change in direction or grade to avoid abrupt change like in roads railways and canals transition curve before transition curve i will tell you about a simple circular curve as combined curve is a combination of simple circular curve and transition curve i have discussed these uh, different types of curve in my previous video please also watch that video too the link of which i will give in the description to get better understanding of the topic simple circular curve is a cur is actually a part of a circle and it is a type of a arc okay and its radius is same throughout its length this is simple circular curve that is from e to e dash the other one is transition curve what is transition curve transition curve is used when it becomes necessary to deviate from a given straight path in order to avoid intervening obstructions such as bend of river a building etc transition curve is a non circular curve of varying radius as you can see over here this is the this is the part of the simple circular curve which is combined with a transition curve to give a smooth deviation from a straight path into a circular path transition curve is introduced between a straight and a circular curve for the purpose of giving easy changes of direction of a route now i hope you have understand what is transition curve and it is also called as easement of curve so let's proceed towards the designing of combined curve and few of the uh, let it solve by an example few of the parameters are given as you can see over here that deflection angle is 89 degree 50 minutes this is the deflection angle that is the external angle of intersection point of two tangents okay and the maximum design speed is 70 km per hour centrifugal ratio is 1 by 4 now centrifugal ratio is normally uh, generally uh, taken 1 by 4 for roads and 1 by 8 for railways and the rate of change of acceleration is 0.3 meter per second square and the change of intersection point is 1836.4 meters that is the rdr change reduced distance or the change of intersection point this is the intersection point the point where two tangents intersect each other this is the intersection point and the parameters we need to find from this given data is radius of the circular path as you can see here this is the circular path the as you get, uh, let me explain it this is the circular path from e to e dash this is the circular path and its radius is r okay the next one is length of the transition curve the length from e to t is called as transition curve similarly on the other side from e dash to t dash this is the length of the transition curve and the third thing we need to find is the length of circular curve this is the length of the circular curve from e to e dash okay and the change of beginning and end points of transition curve the point where transition curve starts is t and where it ends is point e we need to find the changes of these transition curve so let's start 
the one thing you should kept in mind that it all depends on the formulas if you know the formulas to calculate different uh, parameters like radius of the curve radius of the circular path length of the transition curve it will be more easy for you so learn the formula first and and how to use these formulas i will tell you in the upcoming slide first thing we need to find is radius of circular curve the radius of circular curve is uh, de uh, depends upon the speed of the vehicle and the radius of the uh, curve actually we need to find the radius of the curve it depends upon the speed of the vehicle the more the design speed of the vehicle or more the design speed of the highway the more will be the radius so v is formula uh, and it, it depends upon the centrifugal force as we know that we provide a super elevation to cater this centrifugal force and centrifugal force is involved in calculate calculation of radius of circular curve and it is generally taken as 1 by 4 for roads and by equating 1 by 4 is equal to v square divided by gr v is the design speed is given in the data that is 70 kilometer per hour and we will convert it into meter per second by 70 multiplied by 1000 1000 is for meters and 64 minutes and 64 second that it, it, it comes out 19.44 meter per second okay and by equating this value we will separate r uh, to get this value as we need to find the radius of the circular curve it will become r is equal to 4 v square divided by g v is the design speed g is the gravitational acceleration and by putting these values we will get the radius of the circular curve this value this is the represented by r and this is the radius of the circular curve keep that value in mind we will use uh, several times in the upcoming slides the next thing is length of transition curve as i told you before that the length from e to t this is the length of the transition curve and it is equal to and it is represented by capital l and is equal to v cube divided by a r v is the design speed okay a is the rate of acceleration which is given in the data and r is the radius of the circular curve so by putting these values l is equal to v cube design speed divided by rate of acceleration multiplied by radius of the circular curve we will get the length of the circular curve sorry the length of the transition curve okay the only thing you need to do is learn this formula by heart you need to know this formula and how to use this formula okay the third part the third parameter we need to find is the length of the circular curve length of the circular curve the formula for length of the circular curve is as you can see here is pi r delta minus 2 phi divided by 180 now what is delta minus 2 phi 1 this angle we need to calculate this angle first which is called as spiral angle phi 1 is called as spiral angle as you can see over here this is the spiral angle and this is the also spiral angle. these are equal so phi 1 is equal to again remember this formula l multiplied by 180 divided by 2 r pi in degrees this will give you the answer in degrees by putting the value l l is the length of the transition curve which we have calculated in the previous slide that is 158.92 divided by 2 into r r is the radius of the circular path 180 divided by 3.14 we will get the spiral angle which is 29.5 degrees so now coming towards this central angle that is delta minus 251 we will get now delta is given in the this is the deflection angle delta is the deflection ang angle and it is given in the data so by putting the values we will get 30.8 degrees this is the central angle okay now proceeding toward the length of circular curve which i have mentioned before the formula is pi r delta minus 251 divided by 180 okay 
this phi 1 this angle and this angle we have already calculated which is called as the spiral angle and the this central angle delta minus 251 which we have cal already calculated simply by putting the value of central angle and the spiral angle we will get 82.79 meters this is the length of circular curve that is the length from e to e dash this is the length of circular curve okay we have found the length of transition curve which is represented by capital L the radius r of a circular curve the length of a circular curve the third parameter we need to find is the change of points that is change of this point t1 and t dash which means that from where we have to start the curve to deviate the uh, road or path from a straight to curve okay we need to find shift what is what is shift obviously if we uh, if, if we provide transition curve the uh, radius of the curve will definitely change from its path it will move a slide uh, to towards right or towards left it will be shifted from its previous path so we need to find this shift which is is equal to l square divided by 24 r okay l square divided by 24 r l is the length of the transition curve 24 into 154.09 is the radius of the circular path and it comes out 6.8 meters it means that if we combine both curves circular curve and transition curve it will move towards right or towards left 6.8 meters okay now tangent length what is tangent length this is the length from here to here this is called as tangent length length from t to intersection point towards this point this total length is called as transition length which is equal to r plus s r plus s tan delta divided by 2 plus l divided by 2 so you, you need to remember these are formulas to design a combined curve so by putting for uh, values r is the radius of the circular curve plus s is the shift that is 6.8 meters into 10 delta is the 89.50 degree which is given in the question plus l is the length of the transition curve divided by 2 we get 239.9 meters this is the tangent length we need to calculate this because in the question we were asked about to calculate the start that is start and end point of a transit combined curve okay to calculate this we will have to find the length of the tangents and the formula to find the length of tangent is r plus n tan delta divided by 2 plus l divided by 2 which comes out 239.9 meters so now to calculate the change of uh, first tangent point and change of last tangent point or second tangent point we as we already know that which is given in the question that is change of intersection point is 1836.4 that is the distance the change of this point is already given and the length of this transition curve we have already found is 239.9 so by subtracting the tangent length that is 1836.4 minus 239.9 we will get 1596.5 meters so the change of this point is 1596 as you can see over here we know this distance okay this is the change of intersection point and if we subtract this length if we subtract this length we will get we will reach this point this is the change of first point that is t okay that is which is one uh, one five nine six point five meters okay the change of first common point common point is point e where circular curve and transition curve combines or unites this point okay let's uh, this point e point e is the first common point and it is equal to and now we know that this change is 1596.5 meters and if we add 
the length of transition curve the length of transition curve is from here to here if we add the distance of uh, the the change of first transition curve and length of the transition curve we will reach point e okay similarly the next point is to find point e dash the change of e dash and now we know the length of the circular curve and if we add this ch the change plus the length of this circular curve we will reach point e dash as you can see over here 1755.42 plus 82.79 it is equal to 1838.21 meters now we have reached over this point the second combined point common point is e dash so to find this distance we will add the length of again the length of transition curve plus the change of e dash we will reach up to t dash this is the second tangent point as you can see here which is 1997.13 meters so that's all for today in the end you are requested if you are new to my channel please subscribe it and don't forget to press the bell icon to get more video updates